In this video, we're gonna walk through how an agent is booking 10 to 15 appointments per month by only spending $10 a day on ads. So there's a case study walkthrough. We're also gonna give you guys some tips, tricks on how to actually improve this process because 10 to 15 appointments can actually be even improved, right? Uh, there's a lot of things that we can also improve. So it's gonna be a great learning experience for everyone. So let's go ahead and get started. So the background is the agent is from Southern California in a highly competitive market. She has a great process in place with her lender partner and Spanish speaking colleague as well for handling Spanish speaking leads. In Southern California, there is a high prevalence of Spanish speaking leads as well. So there's definitely a lot of business there. Um, so it's been important to consider that. Uh, so a lot of appointments, actually not all of them, but a, a small percentage of them also were uh, directly correlated to you know speaking only Spanish. And she was able to divert that to her Spanish speaking colleague um, who was able to get the job done. So since working with a concierge, so she does use concierge, but uh, we'll go ahead and show you guys the exact processes in place. So even if you don't use concierge, you can still learn a lot from this. So the concierge team has been booking two to three appointments a week, uh, which has led to an influx in business. Uh, the show up rate has been consistently high as well due to text reminders. So we're going to ask a question like, how do we do it? What do the follow-up process look like? And what scripts did we use? So let's actually talk about some variables. And then we'll go into the conversations last. Because um, I think that is really where uh, a lot of the meat and potatoes lays. But um, some variables to consider was that these results were achieved with a database that hadn't been worked to a busy, busy agent. So the agent came on and she was really busy, right? And she needed someone to follow up the leads. Um it was traction, but it's just hard to follow with that many leads. So then uh, the concierge took over. But the uh, second uh, variable they want to consider here is that these results were actually achieved during a heavy, heavy seller's market. A lot of agents actually pushed away buyer's leads, but uh, this agent actually accepted them in uh, because over time, you know, they will be the, the listing uh, market will pick up and they're just going to need a lot of good ready to go buyers. Uh, and she really understood that. Step number three is uh, these uh, leads were achieved by just simply texting leads and using the generation leads automation systems. So there was really no calling involved. It was all just text message, voicemail drop, email, blasting the database consistently um, and uh, regularly. And that really helped a lot. And the agent did follow up with every single appointment themselves using exactly what's taught inside the program. Uh, step number four is agent only used one lead source, which is Facebook ads. The database was gold here. Uh, while a lot of them agents didn't want, they, you know, we all want results in three months. A fair share of appointments came from just, you know, playing a long-term game. These leads often had people that, you know, weren't pre-approved, but they were interested and they, the agent did step in uh, before any agent, uh, any other agent did. So that's the thing with a lot of Facebook leads is that they're really top of funnel. Uh, and a lot of them haven't been, you know, even talking to another, other agent. So it's definitely a great way and opportunity to come in and, Get the business where uh, before anyone else can, right? So uh, there really is no not much competition with these leads, uh, but it just takes them a little bit more follow up. We'll talk about that later today. Um, there was really no organic lead generation as well done, right? Like this, we have some great uh, Facebook uh, organic lead gen strategies in our course area, Real Estate University. You can uh, watch, but they were actually achieved without any testimonies or Google reviews, right? Uh, no Google My Business, no press release articles, right? You gotta get featured in magazines and stuff. That helps a lot. No YouTube content, just purely follow up, right? So just to show that follow up is, you know, supersedes everything, right? So all these tough things sort of helped a lot. And I think the biggest thing as well is like the agent can also do call based follow up on the side to really just squeeze out everything from that database, right? Uh, number six was a very simple ad campaign, a simple homes list, just with the team set up. And there was seller leads in this campaign. Um, and they, they are actually move up buyers or they, they want to sell a home before buying another one. So there was a, a couple of seller leads as well. So I think we've seen this recurring theme with a lot of our successful customers. So some variables to consider as well, again, is like the agents could have got better results just by power dialing her leads on a weekly basis who haven't responded yet. Uh, we do have a power dialer in our CRM and there's another video on that. But again, just using a proven script, power dialing the leads every single week, probably could have got way more appointments as well. Uh, results do it came in fast as we set up the database reactivation campaign. So if you're new right now, right, uh, and you just want to get concierge set up right away, the concierge results typically get better and better over time as the database grows because then we can start sending. Just imagine this, right? Imagine sending text messages to a thousand people weekly. You're gonna get some results, right? Um, Step three is there are actually agents in the same market as well who haven't got any results yet. Um, so again, it is very important to consider that it really comes down to the follow up. So. Mindset is, you know, before we can run, we need to walk, right? This is not skip the rent right away. We said this a lot of times, but 
Uh, focus on the appointment and then take the appointment to a client. Focus on that step-by-step process and do it enough times and you'll have a repeatable, scalable business. Uh, and the key variable is, is not the ad, it is the sales process, right? So just some math here. Uh, these are just the appointments that are booked in the month of May alone. I didn't blur out the names, but the uh, total points per month on average about 10 to 11. Show up rate was 79.11%, just less than 80%. Their appointments were 11, right? So total 11 appointments in the uh, month of uh, May. Uh, we had 91 leads generated from Facebook ads. Again, that's not including your organic lead gen ads. Organic lead gen ads don't, literally don't cost you anything to do, as well as they have a very high appointment booking rate because people really want to speak to you. Uh, ad spend was about $305.76 that month. Uh, lead cost was $3.36 each. Cost per appointment was only $27.79. So again, like that's huge, right? $27 appointments with people that want to speak real estate with you. Uh, appointment rate was 115%, and the result was $27 appointments. So imagine if they spent 600 bucks or 900 bucks, or $5,000 in a month on advertising spend. You can see where you can take this thing, right? So if you're booking this many appointments per month, you could start to use as a recruiting mechanism and just say to other agents, hey, I'll provide you booked appointments. Just come work with me, right? So again, the possibilities are endless. Just giving you guys some ideas. And the cost per closing is well below $1,000, well below Zillow, Opsity, all these paper closing mechanisms. It just comes down to doing a little bit more work, but being much more profitable, right? Again, Facebook ad strategy, very simple buyer leads campaign. It's a home list campaign that we run for all of our customers. We know it works as long as the follow-up is there, and you can make a lot of money there uh, as long as you just make sure the follow-up is there, right? So the strategy was to generate a high quantity of top of funnel leads using aggressive follow-up to filter buyer and seller leads. Uh, a simple buyer leads campaign was initially set up to generate commissions, which can then be put towards a more expensive but maybe a higher quality seller leads campaign. So however, the buyer leads campaign continued to run because they kept the agent busy and they maintained an above 30 extra return of ad spend and leads looking to buy or sell that were three plus months out were put on long-term drip campaigns. Leads that were looking to buy or sell in less than three months were worked on by the agent and drip campaigns consisted of texts, emails, and pre-recorded voicemails and templates were actually provided by us as well. So once you get the buyer leads game rolling and you can get consistent closings you can do a couple of things from there right you can uh, uh, bring on someone else to work the buyer leads for you because that's going to be consistent business as well but then you can start experimenting something with seller leads right um, the seller leads cost per acquisition per uh, per listing is can be quite high so it does require a lot of testing but you can use the profits from the buyers to start funding your seller ads right again our whole goal is to get some closings under the belt and start scaling it right um, the follow-up process improvement. So how could we have um, actually improved the follow-up process? We could have uh, followed a simple principle, just call every lead that responds. So basically, our concept here is just taking care of the follow-up and trying to book people into appointments. But if you really want to push it to the next level, get the calls in and call them back-to-back. -back. You can see right here, like, lead came in. He called in, like, one, two times and booked the appointment right away, right, within seven minutes. So... If you, if you can, of course, let the concierge do the job. The concierge is always going to do the job. But if you can actually get some calls in, the new leads, you can definitely accelerate your results by a lot, right? Uh, a lead has expressed high interest by opting in and responding to the automated text campaigns. So instead of having a conversation by text, you know, you as an agent call, can call every lead to qualify and book into an appointment. And here's another example of an agent calling the lead that said yes, literally called them twice back to back and got them booked into an appointment. So... Let me actually go over an initial call lead, lead calling script if you like. We've already went over this in another video, but again, I just want to repeat this uh, because it does work very, very well. Now, at the end, we'll, we will, of course, go over how to book appointments through just texting alone. But uh, let's just go over this role play. Ring, ring, ring. Yep. Hey, who is this? Uh, is this John? Yes, who is this? Uh, hey, this is, uh, this, this is Max calling from uh, Maxwell Realty. The reason why I'm calling you is because I received a request for a list of homes under... 300,000. I want to send that over to you on email. Is that okay? Y yes, yes. Okay, please send. Are you currently planning to make a move in the next three to six months? Yeah, yeah, we are actually. And uh, do you currently rent or do you own your home? Uh, we're currently renting, Max. Uh, and are you currently working with an agent right now? Uh, no, I'm not currently working with any agent. And um, if you don't mind me asking, John, would you like for me to send you some latest updates of new properties in your area to your email? Right. This includes other distressed sellers, bank, and uh, you know foreclosed uh, properties as well. 
which you don't actually find online, right? I think uh, it would be nice and beneficial to you. So it doesn't cost you anything. You're actually obligated to buy them. Does that interest you? Yeah, yeah, sure. That would be awesome. Thank you. And um, uh, John, like, uh, when do you think it's a good time to just get together for a quick 20-minute sit-down, right? We can go over no obligation, meet and greet. I can take down exactly what you're looking for, right? I can answer all your questions. Uh, lead says, no, no, can we just do it on the phone right now? John, the reason I actually ask is that uh, I got to fill out a form which has fees to you know find out exactly what you're looking for. So just to make sure that we're maximizing that, I think it would be great, right? Does tomorrow work for you? Yes. So you guys can see that there's a lot of psychology behind the script as well. Like uh, we're just you're giving them a time period. We're not saying, are you open to appointment? Like this, like, I'm explaining to them why we shouldn't do it. We should actually get to a face-to-face -face appointment or even a Zoom appointment. So you can do this um, script and it works quite well. And we have another video on this of an agent actually literally going through and we play the call recordings and everything. But uh, this is a great script as well as there's some recorded assets as well in Real Estate University of like I think five or six recorded phone calls that you can go ahead and watch. But uh, keys to note is objective of the call was to book the appointment and agent can showcase value of their services by mentioning that they're going to be able to show properties which aren't listed online. This is risky sales 101. You want to position yourself as an expert, right? So follow up, continue again. You can implement the sales script with every single lead that responds to the initial text campaigns. This is actually a successful age, uh, action agent can repeat every single day. For another agent, it resulted in 107 appointments in less than 10, 10 months. And uh, he closed over 10 of those uh, into closings, right? So again, I think we're going to get into the most important part now, which is the appointment analysis. What did the uh, concierge team do? Um, and what can you do to start booking more appointments with your leads? So let's go ahead and uh, talk about this. So lead came in in November, right? Text message follow-up system starts conversations. Email goes out. Text message follow-up system comes out. Agent is very, very busy. They can't even follow up. And they said, I'm looking for three units better for helping me with payments. Here's my email. Send me over the list of homes, right? And the agent responds the day after. Says, here, what's ever is available? What happened? What cities, right? Uh, Two-minute call from the person. Uh, bad reception, right? They got another five-minute conversation there. And then there was a little bit of, uh, you know, crickets. There really wasn't anything going on. But we still made the touch points by email. We still followed up. Um, and you can see that there's really no uh, idea go what's what's going on here right now. Right now. So it, uh, a lot of the leads are just ghosting. And this is where really the persistent comes up. So we start sending out these blasts. Hey, a little while back, just checking if we can help. We're coming in from the perspective of an assistant this time to make sure we remove the pressure of the sale. And you can see we're doing it again. We're doing it again. You guys can pause and read these as well. But hey, the lead comes back in February 2021 and says, do you have any more nearby? Hey, do you want it? This is the zip code you want it, right? Here's a list. So another good thing is that like a lot of companies also offer like AI and stuff. One of the things you can actually do is you can just go back and, you know, you can start to Rep you can just play the call and the call is always going to be recorded here and you can reference it again right you have any more nearby right do you want to just zip code right here's a list and what about 80120 right and we said uh, there was actually no response then we said we sent you a home list on the email right here's a custom list right here's the search criteria everything sent you a list check it out right and then hope you're having a wonderful day this is Julie I'm assistant again we haven't heard from you you have any duplex or th threeplex maybe uh, thanks for that. How many bedrooms, washrooms, three bedrooms, two washrooms. We're qualifying the lead, something like that. What's your budget? Keep it low, three units, affordable price. It depends on the city that you want it. What are cities you prefer? These are my cities. Okay, I'll set up a personal search for you. I'd like to get you a little bit more information. Have you been pre-qualified for a loan or would you like to be looking at a cash payment? They said, thanks. Of course, it was a little bit unclear. Then we just started setting the appointment. Since we offer a no obligation meet and greet, you can discuss all your questions. Would you be open to that? I will call later. Awesome. What would be the best time to call you? Sell or message Marlena now. Monday, Tuesday, all day. Monday, morning, afternoon. Do you have a specific time? Anytime, a.m. Thanks. Waiting for that. And again, um, I think the agent called and set it for 11 o'clock. So um, the lead wasn't the best at communication. You guys can see here that the, uh, the answers were a little bit unclear. But we're pushing to get people on the phone. And that's the most important part. All right. Second up, we got this one. Right. And you can see that. Uh, lead comes in, right? Really, uh, I think the second day they respond to text messages and concierge takes over. What's your preferred locations? You can send it to my email. Sure, we'll be more than happy to do that. We want to make sure it's customized. Can you give me an idea of where your preferred cities are? Uh, these are my cities. Great. What's your price range? All right, 500, 600K. Thanks. Are you searching for a home uh, to rent or looking to buy? Uh, prefer to buy, but we need a rental as we have to move by August 1st. Got it. That's how we'll know what's your ideal time for the purchase by ASAP, but we need help for getting pre-qualified. Like I said, we had to move by August 1st, right? 
and uh, a monthly payment can now be over $3,300 monthly. No, no worries. We do offer a no obligation meet and greet. She offers no obligation meet and greets uh, right here. And are you available for a five or 10 minutes to call to discuss and answer any questions? Yep, after 3 p.m. I'll be available. She can reach me on this number. Boom, done, book the appointment. That's how easy it was, guys, right? So it just comes down to just making sure we provide value to the person, right? We send them, uh, we ask them some questions, we qualify the lead, right? And once that lead has been qualified, that's when we push for the appointment, right? So we see that the person isn't pre-qualified. That's when the agent can come in, shoot a quick text over to the lender. Lender says, hey, what's up? We say, hey, I got a lead that needs to be pre-qualified. Are you ready to take it? Yep, good, send me their number. All right, um, so basically once the appointment's done, the agent can go ahead and ask all the questions you want for a, a new buyer, and of course, refer to the lender. The lender can also pay for your ad spend, right? So again, I know I'm talking a little bit fast here, but I just wanna make sure that we're uh, good on time. You guys can actually pause this and learn everything, but um, hope you guys are absorbing everything that we're showing here, right? Again, I'm gonna go to this one, all right? So this lead came in, all right. Uh, they say, how are you? I need to know a good opportunity of a nice home to my family. Great, how many bedrooms are washroom looking for? Three bedrooms, two washrooms, a big lot, need like two homes at the same property, right? Let me send you some listings sh uh, soon. Sure, thank you, what's your name? I'm sorry, Marley Chen, great, gracias, right? Thank you, what question are you pre-approved or working the lender? No, not yet, I have the budget because I need more space to my family. Perfect, I have a lender you can talk to if you need. Thanks, but I'm gonna do my tax first, maybe it's better the a play with the lenders great idea jose uh there are a lot can you give me a budget to shrink the list right because of course his homes list that we're going to send them was quite broad right so she wanted to narrow it down so our concierge actually asked like hey can you give me a budget to shrink the list yeah i'm looking for a property of 440k we have savings of 100k do you, if you have if you do fha loan then you can look at a much higher budget i believe it's our uh, 3.5 35 percent down right so like think about it like a lot of people, first time buyers particularly, they don't even know about this kind of stuff, right? So that's why as an agent, it's important to come in as an advisor and sort of help them out, right? So again, this lead came in, probably never even knew this agent. We provide a value to them. There's one more reason they're gonna work for them, right? So again, what I have to do, right? I need an FHA loan. Great, yep, this is the cities, right? At 400K, you have to go to these cities, it's too far. Let me give you just number and Hector. Uh, these guys are FHA loan, they're lenders, of course. Here's the numbers, thank you, boom, done. Here's a list, by the way. Do you have a property with RV entrance? I need it like that. RV parking, you mean? Yes, right? I think the agent actually got so busy, she forgot to follow up with the lead. And then our concierge comes in and starts taking this conversation again, right? Hey, I hope your family are doing well and keeping safe. I want to circle back with you about your search for a home. Do you find anything interesting? Hey, I'm fine. Thank you. The thing is that the property is really expensive, so I need to wait a couple months, and I think it's not the right time. I understand that Marlena discussed other options. Do you have a chance to talk to her personally through phone calls? So our concierge is actually smart enough to go up and see there was no phone call. Just double check. No, not yet, but I need to get a good property. Great. I would recommend you get booking a call so we can answer any questions. Let's wait a couple months. Do you have a specific time frame? Not exactly, but I need a good property. Upon reviewing, looking for a property for 400 to 450, right? No more than 480. So the concierge actually went all the way up to the 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 uh, previous conversation and reference that. Uh, Marlena could actually help you check, right? Um, so she can share her knowledge and experience. The good thing is that there is a no obligation meeting greet. Let's do that, right? Uh, booking the appointment. So we still get the person on the phone, right? I think that was the issue initially. Now we're sending appointment reminders to get the appointment show up right higher. So like I said, try to get them on the phone and get that get that real salesperson out of you by adding that tonality into the sale, right? When I'm, when I'm closing, when I'm talking to real estate prospects, um, buyer seller leads i'm able to raise my voice use tonality in the play right um like i can ask a, a person a more sensitive question like hey john um just curious are you pre-approved right now right like you can add tonality and that's where the real closing comes into play right so again that's my that's my personal opinion is yes text messaging works great but to take it to the next level take that text message conversation and book into a phone call right that's why our concierge uh, team tries to get everyone into a phone call with the agents as soon as possible, right? Um, last couple here, guys, I know there's a lot. I uh, just wanna make sure we provide as much value as we can to you. Um, again, this one lead comes in, they haven't replied for a long time here, right? You can see that some leads can be nurtured for months without even ever responding. That's when they say yes. So this lead came in, in January and literally in May, lead says yes. Awesome. How many bedrooms or washrooms do you prefer? 
three, but I want to see a piscina, home in piscina. No worries. I'll message Molina to know you're looking for a home in piscina. Are you a first time buyer? Yes, please. Great. Can you give me an idea of how many bedrooms or washrooms do you prefer? Three. Three bedrooms, three washrooms, right? How much is your budget? Uh, you see how much I have the money. I want to tell me uh, how much I qualify for. So again, this person needs some um, uh, consulting on how much they qualify for. Hi, just it's, it's me again. Because again, this was really late. So we took the conversation to the next day. Um, I want to just verify things. Hey, this is Julie from the office. You requested a home list on our Facebook post. We, you know, they said, yep, here's a paradise. We left a voicemail as well uh, as part of the concierge. So we literally just like sent a text blast out to our database. His lead came back to life. Are you still thinking about moving? When can we set an appointment next week? What time and date do you prefer? He tried calling in. Um, he said Saturday 2 p.m. And what do you need? You need the papers and stuff, right? Boom, done. This guy was already talking business, right? So again, what's the best contact number? Um, next Saturday, right? So I think we booked him the wrong time. We booked him in. Boom, done. He confirmed it. That's how you set the appointments, guys. It can take a long time, but... Again, this was this is all done through automation, right? These text messages going out, it's all done through automation. So you can just see that sometimes the automation is put five or ten k, fifteen k in your pocket just by click closing, right? So again, you want to leverage these systems and do them at scale, okay? Um, last three or four here, guys. You can see here that uh, this lead came in in March seventeenth. Okay, thanks. Perfect. We would like to know if any bedrooms or washrooms. How many do you prefer? Qualify the lead, boom, done. What's your budget? It's a sensitive question as well. Not, well, this wasn't really a sensitive question, but the lead just ghosted, probably at work or something. We followed up again. Are you still searching for a home? Yes. Ghosted again, <laughs> right? And then we sent another message. Keeps on ghosting. Keeps on ghosting. L then we drop a voicemail. Hi, this is Julia from Merlin and Chang's office at Tiger Eye Realty. A little while back, you requested a this on our Facebook post and I'm so excited to have that sent over to you. Let me know if you'd like it. Thanks. Literally, it's a simple voicemail. A little while ago, you sent a little list on our Facebook post. Uh, let me know if you like it. Thanks. Right, It's a simple little statement there. Got the person responding back. Done. We teach how to do this as well inside of our program uh, in the videos inside Real Estate University. Uh, when we last spoke, you were just starting your home search. I want to just check in and see if you were still looking for a three to four bedroom and two washroom in Lancaster, Palmdale. Yes. Have you found something? I'm about to set the list. I want to make it more customized. How much is the price range? Can I send the homeless an email? Yes. Still trying to work that lead. They haven't been giving us good responses. They've been ghosting a lot, right? Do you have a chance to view the customized homeless I sent you? Do you have a ca chance to view it? Right? Send out a list of homes. I sent out a list of homes. I haven't had the chance, to be honest, to look at my folder and let you know. I have to go see a place tomorrow. I'll let you know how it goes. Ebony, can you let me know what city you're looking into? You're purchasing, right? What's your budget? Uh, West Palmdale, West Lancaster. I was there a lot of listing there. Uh, Hector can give you a call and do a customized search for you. Can I call you today? Done. We scheduled the call. A little bit of an unorthodox method of booking appointments. We're just trying to get them on the phone, right? Uh, we want to speak to as many people on the phone as possible, right? Like she, she even mentioned something like, "I have to go see a place tomorrow." I don't know what that could mean. It could mean she's going to a place to see with an agent tomorrow. We still want to contact them and see are they committed, right? So again, um, I'm gonna go to the last four here. And then um, just wrap it up. This lead came in on February 11th, right? I haven't responded until February, well, March, actually. Uh, we still have not get a, got a solid response yet from the lead. We're just still sending, I think, 20, 30 touch points of email and text message to them. And then we literally sent this text message saying, hey, we're looking for five motivated individuals to join our first time home buyers program. Would you be interested in hearing more about how we're helping home buyers through the home of their dreams? Can we talk over the phone today? Can we, can we call you at 1 PM? Here's the time. Sure. Book the appointment done. Right. And we're still sending reminders. So you can see that, um, when we have like thousands of leads in our database, we can start sending these things called text blasts. And we send this text blast out, right. And says, I'm the assistant here. We're looking for serious first time home buyers. Um, I know it shows up as two being sent out, but it just, uh, the way we have it set up is actually a glitch, but we sent out these uh, database text blasts to our leads and we uh, got someone actually ready to speak about the first time home buyer program, right? So this one as well. Lead came in December 16th and say, yes, can you let me know the budget, how many bedrooms, right? Great. 
Uh, any other cities? Are you interested? Are you pre-approved? Yes, I'll send you tomorrow. I said no, right? And then again, a little while gap. So when I was talking to you, I'll send you something next week. I think I had a phone call on her personal phone. Uh, lead comes in. What's your budget and how many bedrooms? Great, check your emails and your list of homes. Hey, the assistant follows up in January. So that's when the concierge started. Uh, did that? Did she send that over to you? The guy said no. No worries. What are you looking for, right? What city? These are the areas. This guy's a pretty good lead looking for a 700000 900000 home. Also, it's a great idea to start looking early. By the way, have you been pre-qualified or looking at a cash payment? It's a loan, right? Perfect. Let me go ahead and prepare to customize my list. Okay, I sent it. Boom, done, right? Hope I'm having a day. We're just following up. How are you doing today? Just a simple, how are you doing today? We're still following up. After we sent that list of customized homes, we're still following up. We're still following up. We're still following up. And then we're still following up, right? You can see, then the guy says yes. Hey, yesterday you replied to Marlena's check, text, right? Would you be open to uh, receiving another customized home list, right? Great, send you a text of home list. So what we're doing is we're just trying to send them a home list, provide some value, and ask for the appointment, right? Again, we still follow it up. Like this guy is, most agents would give up at this point. Uh, but you can see that we're just following up like crazy, right? And he says, yes. So we offer a no obligation meet and greet. Do you want to have a five or 10 minute call with her? Great, can we call you at three? Perfect, done, boom, sign, right? So um, we're trying to get as many people on the call as possible. And uh, that guy took a lot of work, right? Not saying every lead's going to be like that, but uh, he did take a lot of work. And this one, right? Hey, Marlena, how are you? Please send it to me. Great, I'm looking forward to sending the homes list. Um, We'll say we don't ask for some details, right? Uh, any house is fixed while well, I'm a contractor. Great to hear. What's your preferred location? Where you're selling? She offers most part of, uh, I think it's like, where are you selling, right? Uh, she offers most part of Los Angeles. What are your preferred locations? Hey, it's Samuel. Let me know if you're still interested. Let me know if you're interested. Yeah, I'm just a little bit busy, right? So again, people are busy. I mean, as agents, we are so busy. People are going to be just as busy as us. So we want to keep on sending out those follow-ups, right? Um, that's why it's also important that you just give them a call right away and the lead comes in. Give them two back to back calls and you can get a higher connection rate. But, um, and we did discuss that in our presentation earlier on, right? But you can see here that the lead does respond after follow up and they respond on June 2nd. How are you looking for, uh, how are you? I'm looking for a three bedroom and uh, any area really. What's your budget and are you pre approved, right? Yeah, depending on what, um, what you send, right? Great. We do offer a no obligation meet and greet. Can she call you tomorrow at 10 a.m. and she can go over? Yes. Great. I'll just notify her. We booked the appointment, right? So it's agreed to phone call um, because it's always important because as a salesperson, you want to qualify your leads first uh, and then you can book them into a face-to-face. -face. You don't want to be wasting time with unqualified prospects. So it's important to get them on the phone call and then take it from there, all right? Last but not least, we got this last appointment here. You can see, how are you? Please send it to me. Um, I think it's the same person. Oh, so, yep. Uh, anyways, I think that's a lot of conversation we analyze here. But guys, hopefully you found value in this. Hopefully you can apply this to your follow-up strategy. If you have any questions, let us know. And see you guys in the next video.